What's up, YouTube? Team Team Project 35 here. We got a five package mail day. And now I'll talk about some things. Um, a few questions from the viewers. Some new viewers. So, um, I'm going to go with the auction second. I'm going to talk about this one first. I got this one. It's an email from Drew Carey. Uh, I believe this is just pre printed or a fact similar or something like that. I do not believe it's real. Um, if you have any differing opinions, please put them down below. So I do not throw this away if it's a real autograph. <clears throat> My next one's an auction. Got this for like a steal. Three dollars. Matches every signature I've ever seen of him. Uh, matches an in-person signature. It's Danny Manny. He's number two on my list. Uh, Autographs.guybox cards. The card's just gorgeous in person. No, nothing wrong with it at all. We got this for like three dollars shipped, which is a steal. I do believe it's real in person because it's from right here in Kansas. So, <clears throat> next three are all email successes. It's just weird how I got four in one day. I haven't got one for a long time. So. Um, we'll go over this one. You can find this email on the Autograph Network site. Just go down to the country or to music. It says it's just right there. This is from Gretchen Wilson to Andrew Gretchen Wilson. As I believe it's 100% real. Matched everything I've seen. Next one is a little damaged. They put a paper clip to try to protect it with the cardboard. Probably can't see real well. Brad Meltzer. I'm an 8x10. What's really nice about that is he gave me the choice of getting a book plate or an 8x10 9. Clearly, I'm gonna take the book plate. I mean, eight by ten. And then the next one, I don't remember saying email to. This might just be a follow-up from a letter I sent him, and then to thank you, time for me, Tony Dungy. Signed eight by ten there, so that's really nice. Now, the, I got a question. Somebody one of my favorite teams in each sport, including soccer. So I guess I'll, I'll uh, list those off. Um, what is my list of sports? I don't know the list. Um, oh yeah, if you didn't know, it's just my baseball hoodie. We got these today, first day of baseball practice. Don't saw me baseball. My hoodie from last year, we're getting a new one soon. Um, so I'm gonna go with uh, NBA. I really only root for teams that KU players play on, former KU players. So, I mean, I don't really root for any certain team, just players. So, like, um, uh, let me give an example. Cole Aldridge, Nick Collison played for the Thunder, so I'll probably root for them because they're probably going to get the finals against the Heat. The Heat does have Mario Chalmers, but I'm going to go for two over one, so. Whoever K player plays, for, I'll root for them. Then in the NFL, um, my team is the Chiefs, Kansas City. It's right here. Um, I like the Chiefs. Just like supporting the hometown team. Um, hockey. Any team decides to move to Kansas City, my favorite team. We don't really have a team in hockey. I do watch the Stanley Cup, and that's it. It's kind of interesting, but there have been rumors that the team might come to Kansas City, and I would root for them, and I'd probably go watch a few games. So then, uh, soccer is a sport in Kansas City. I don't. I've been. I've seen a few games. Not a big soccer fan, but I like the local teams. Baseball. I'm um, not a local guy in baseball, it's the Red Sox. I fell in love with them around 2002, and I started going to Red Sox games when I played Kansas City. Uh, I love everything about them, they're just a lovable loser, and then they won a couple championships, which was really cool. Um, but, it's really hard to be a Kansas City Royals fan, because, like, 99, 97, all there, they had really good players like Beltron and Damon and Jermaine Dye. And they just trade away my way for nothing, and you know, these crappy young players they have now, like Hosmer and Stock, it's all great, but they're just gonna get rid of them for nothing. And they won't get any wins or anything, they're just not loyal to the fans, so it's hard to be a fan of them. And then for college, it's very clear it's the Kansas Jayhawks. Um, duh. They're my favorite team ever. Um, just talk about that game on Saturday, it's amazing. The best game I've ever seen in my life. Come down by 19 points to beat Missouri our hated rivals. In the last game ever in the Border War. That was just amazing. It couldn't end it better. The block by Thomas and Tyshawn making his free throws. So that's about that. And then uh, I was thinking about having like a margin madness contest, like uh, brackets. So if you're interested in that, just you know put something down below. 
if you're interested in that. So, thanks.